how to deal with when negative thoughts into your head. Here's the biggest thing. I say this. This is one of my biggest catchphrases recently on boot camp is just don't judge it. I probably say that 100 times per boot camp. Don't judge it. 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 Don't judge the girl. Don't judge yourself. Don't judge the set. Don't judge the club. Don't judge it. Okay. So when you say a negative thought or a negative thing is happening, you've already judged it. Right? There are no positives, there are no negatives, there are just facts. Right? Judgment occurs after the experience by you. Okay? So if um, you get the thought that I'm not worthy, you may call that a negative thought. I'm going to call that a thought, and I'm going to call it an educational thought. I'm going to say, huh, that's funny. I had the thought that I'm not worthy. Isn't that interesting? What does that tell me about myself? How can I learn from that? How can that help me to improve? Or you can even turn it into positive, right? Oh, I'm not feeling worthy. Isn't that interesting that I've been with however many girls I've been with, and um, I've had this amount of success in my life, and I've done all this without even feeling worthy? Imagine how well I'll do when I do feel worthy, right? So the same thought, it can be a positive thought, it can be a neutral thought, or it can be a negative thought, right? To call it a negative thought, you've already judged it, right? So, if a thought is impacting you in a negative way, change the nature of the thought. Or look at the thought and figure out how to change the thought itself. Okay? So just the idea of a negative thought shouldn't exist. Just the idea of a negative thing in the world shouldn't exist. There are no negative facts. There are no positive facts. There are only facts. There are facts and then there are positive, negative, and neutral interpretations. But there are only facts. The world is as it is. Period at this moment. Now, you can take positive action to change the world. You can take negative action to make the world worse. But at this moment, the world is a series of facts, a series of molecules, a series of atoms bumping into each other. It is exactly as it is. Right? And it's not going to change the nature of the world if you think positively about that or you think negatively about it in this moment. Now, if you take action, now you can change the world. But in the thought, it is what it is. So don't judge it. Okay? And find a way to make it the most useful possible. So that's my, that's my answer to that. Um, and the, the thing that has to come before that is awareness. In order for you to change it, in order for you not to judge things, you have to have awareness. And that's where uh, things like meditation come in. Um, and that's where things like um, just being outcome independent and being willing to take an analytical moment and like an introspective moment come in. So that's my answer for that. Be willing to be wherever you are. Wherever you are is completely fine, okay? There are a lot of guys, a lot of, I was this way for a long time, very, very goal-oriented guys, where I had like a vision of where I wanted to be in life. I had, this is where I, you know, I want to have this much money, I want to live in this kind of place, I want this kind of life, whatever, back in the day. Um, and I was so caught up in, in that vision that whenever I didn't have that vision, I'm like, why am I not there yet? Well, what, how am I a loser at life? Like, well, I thought by this age I'd be at this other place. It doesn't matter. There is no should in your life. Right? There is no should. The world is as it is, not as it should be, not as you believe it is, etc. It is a fact. It just is. So accept the world as it is. <coughs> accept the world as it is. That doesn't mean don't try and improve. That doesn't mean don't try and change the world in the future. But in this moment, there is nothing you can do to change the world. It is in this moment as it is. Now, the next moment, you can make one little positive step and change it for yourself in a positive way. And the next moment, you can make another little positive step. But don't judge the way the world is. Don't think the world should be this way, so I'm going to be sad about it. Nope. The world is what it is. Doesn't matter how strongly you believe that there's something morally wrong with how the world is, it is what it is. And the more time and energy and effort you spend resisting the truth, that's time and energy and effort you take away from all the other important positive things you should be doing in your life. Okay. So the world is as it is. Take it from there.